Um, spread love, give love, call spread your mama, love, tell her you love her. You know what I'm saying? People are dying. Call people her. Dying. Call somebody. Somebody's. Call your brother, somebody. Call your girl. Call somebody. Call my ex, to be honest. And, and, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not the ex. I'm not the ex. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <They're> crazy. <laughs> Yo, listen, we out, we out, we out. <laughs> Call somebody. Spread love. That's it. That's what we're trying to do. We're going into a new year. We want to live COVID free. Mm -hmm. All that nonsense. All the all the bullshit. Yes. The propaganda. Propaganda. Love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. Peace, 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 Content and their podcasts. You want more good? Come, so. come, take some water with me. Take some water with me. <laughs> let's go help. Let's go help it in. Okay. Matter of fact, I kind of want to have my watch on, but you know what? Yeah, come on, get the watch on. Nah, <laughs> we gonna run it. We gonna run it. We gonna run it. We gonna run it. Okay, be careful. Behave yourself. My name is Daddy Rico. This is One Take, and we are powered by the Rare Network. And please, take on our time and be with the family member there upon the couch. You know what I mean? Show yourself. Hello, my name's Electra Breezy. Electra underscore Breezy mm. on Instagram. You can follow me. You don't get no confusion. It's there upon the screen. Yeah. Uno can do it, dog. Mm. So, watch your side, dog. So, first question. I know. Yo, when I ask you this question, you ask me if I like controversial questions. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say this again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How does marriage benefit men? How does marriage benefit men? In your opinion. I think it benefits men. In a lot, in a lot of ways. But not only the men. Women benefit from it too, of course. This question so, is about the man. Okay. But I do, don't, I'm not, I want you to mention how it benefits the woman as well. Okay, so I think one way that it benefits men is by, they just always have emotional support. Because I feel like men are like kind of trained or whatever in society to like not be emotional, not show emotions, be like the strong, the alpha male it or whatever. So yeah, when you're with your significant other, you're more prone to like emotional communication and like being open about your emotions and it's healthy. Mm, what else? I feel like they have their own cheerleader. Always. I mean, if you're a good wife. You know what I mean? Somebody always there to support you in your corner. Always no, I, you're speaking you. facts. I agree mm -hmm. with you. So, my, my, okay. my question is going to be then. So, outside of that then. Outside of what? What are other benefits? Other benefits? I mean, they For get a good man. Head. For a man, yeah. They get good head. I mean... Mm. Like, if you're married to them, they probably give good head, no? I don't think so. <laughs> not my, not when, when marriage rolls around? Okay, are you getting like, good head? But, well, duh, you have to be because how duh? can you be... No, how can you be, like, so, like, you're using each other's body all the time and, like, you divorce, don't need the hot spots? Divorce rates? Okay, but that's not Great only about sex, though. Like, yeah, like, that doesn't hold the relationship <laughs> together. That's just a bonus. It, it can stretch it, like, 10 years, 12 okay, years. Okay, like, no. <laughs> Head cannot fix that. Okay. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's a fact. It's a fact. Okay. So tell me more. Tell me more. I want to know more. More. Yes, from your perspective, what like I need to know other things. Other things that yeah. men benefit from marriage. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, what more could you want besides love? Something that you can't buy. And then you, if you're married to them, you have it, like, every single day beside you. Like, I don't really know what else is there to say. <laughs> no, I think some men would say uh, that they're giving more than that. What do you mean more than? Than just love. Okay, what do you mean, though? I don't know. I think a man's duty in this society is, is to like you know provide in these things right and it's Women like can provide too. yes Women and, they, provide and, too. and 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 a lot of them are mm. a lot are a lot more than before a lot more than before so you know but like okay so now you're providing what what okay what are you providing what am i providing what are you providing i'm providing a 
loving, nurturing household. But that all depends on the woman, though. You yeah, know, that's a good question. But it's supposed to be, you know, that's loving, what do you provide? Nurturing household. If you got kids, you know, you're providing. Sometimes it's not nurturing. You say it's nurturing. Yeah. Okay. Also, it could be money because sometimes women make. Maybe not sometimes. I don't know the difference, but yeah. women can make more and provide more. You yes, know? this is groceries, whatever. This can they split be true. the work. No, 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 no. It's not this can because men. Okay, let's say example, men. They go to work, and that and can be home. true. Whatever, but the woman. I mean, like you know, both ways. I would say it can be laundry, true. whatever, food, groceries. You know, mm -hmm. it's like you have a balance in your life. Even though, because you're one person, and with two, it's like it's easy to balance the skills. Do you get what I mean? I like that. You know what yeah, I mean? Balance. balance is very important. Balance is very important. I like that. That was actually sums it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> that balance is actually kind of everything. Right? Um, balance is balance everything. and moderation kind of go hand There can't hand be hand. too much of one thing anywhere in any subject yeah. because everything is going to, you know, I fall agree apart. With you. Yeah, you, 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 you definitely close that one off. Great. <laughs> well, easy. All right. So, can an alpha male. Be broke or emotional? Okay. I feel like that's, in my opinion, a mm. stupid question. It's a because stupid question. Because what do you mean the alpha male can't be emotional? Of course the alpha male has to be emotional because we're humans right now. Yeah. We're emotional beings. Everything is based on emotions. Social standards, though. What do you mean social standards? Social standards from all aspects. Like... What okay? When we say emotional, what do you what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean by emotional? I mean they're in tune with their emotions. They get to feel what they want to feel. Nobody Be more specific than that. Nobody invalidates them. If they're mad, they're mad. If they're sad, they're sad. If they're happy, they're happy. And it's like no one demeaning them. No one telling them what they're feeling is incorrect. I think this one's more of how you're displaying it. How I'm displaying it as a man. What does that mean? We're all humans. If a guy wants to cry and a woman wants to cry in the middle of a library, they can both cry in the middle of a library. I don't understand the question. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what do you mean? Nah. What do you mean? <laughs> Excuse me. No, no. You cannot go cry in a library and I go. <laughs> bro, no. If, Six if months. No, bro, bro. World star. Stop. stop. <laughs> Emotions. Yes, everybody if, has emotions. Bro, what if what if you're in you're in God forbid or whatever you're in the middle of a library? Somebody calls you. Your mom's dead. If you feel like crying, you're not gonna cry. Yeah, but the story is not gonna be his mother died. But it's an example. Would the, you? Are the you story expecting the is guy? Not gonna That's be an his example. Though. That's an example though. You're telling me if you got news like that or whatever in the middle of a library, you're not balling. Okay, but 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 the story though, like okay, okay but about the, the perspective. About the yes, principle. Mm -hmm. Are there morals in 2020? Well, I mean, like you know, these yeah. motherfuckers think they care. Like, sure. Listen, let me tell you something. Motherfuckers said they should have shot Meg. Meg. <laughs> No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, niggas are crazy, niggas say anything, they right? They say anything, yeah. Anything. I believe you. You know? <laughs> so, so, I mean, is it really a morals thing? A morals thing? Yeah. I don't think it, uh, emotions and morals are like, those are two different things. I just feel like... That's cool. Okay, fine, fair. It doesn't, well, everybody has a right to feel their emotions, and everybody's emotions are valid. If they want to feel them, everyone's emotions are valid. Yes. Are you sure? Everybody's emotions are valid. Everyone's. If Every you, single if person. If you feel a way, that's how you feel, and that's that. Nobody should tell you otherwise. Okay, Even so if that's you don't agree. So no one can tell you otherwise. It's different than it's being valid. Well, I mean, now you're bringing like opinion into facts here. <laughs> Like, there could be people that have emotions and I don't understand them at all, but it's like... It's still valid. I can't tell exactly because... Okay, fine. That's how you feel. That's fair. Okay, fine. That's fair. Even though it's not in your opinion, it's still valid. That's fair. I'll give you that. That's fair. I'll give you that. You're, you're, you're more gangster than me. Gangster? You're more gangster what than me. What do you me. mean? <laughs> no, that's not gangster. 
Do we need school to be successful? No. Well, I think, okay, yes, to an extent. Because, yes, we need, like, the regular, like, reading, writing skills to be, you know, like, remotely successful. Okay, so do we need after high school, post-secondary? I feel like that depends what you're getting into. I don't think you need it, per se, as if you don't go to college or university, like, you're going to be a bum or whatever. No, because there's a lot of people who didn't need school for that. Mm, but That's a fact. School, I feel like school just provides you skills. And if you want to specialize in something, then you go to school for it. School provides you but skills. But not... Yeah. What kind of skill? Like what? Okay. Like if I want to know about marketing, market my business, I'm going to take a business marketing course. If I want to really do the school. You know what I mean? I think school can be great for marketing. But it dep- I think, okay, school can be great for certain things. Yeah. Not everything. No. Not. No. No. For sure. Because, like, marketing, that was a great one. <laughs> that was a great marketing one. I mean, you know, school will definitely teach some 100%. things. Yes. Yeah. That, you know, and business. Other things definitely like we take those for granted. Yeah. Because we don't like like you know what straight up like Shark Tank was the first time I learned about IPOs and um, you know Kickstarters and mm. you know um, <laughs> getting it at a certain time and <laughs> but yo I didn't understand certain things licensing. Mm-hmm. What, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I, as a grown man, I learned as licensing, like like, like a grown grown man, not in, like. Yeah, I feel like school does skip over some things that we actually all need to be taught. Like, there's the, no reason that I should be bad at it. budgeting when I went to school. Free education. Well, there's a reason for it though. The government actually like I know that's the reason. That. But what do you mean? They can't. Why not? Then we'd all be entrepreneurs. Well, that's what's, because, that's what's happening now. Do you know how many thinking. people became entrepreneurs? No, we're not all entrepreneurs. Oh, there's, boy. there's a greater percentage. Yeah, <laughs> we're not all entrepreneurs. That's a true. lot of us are still great yeah, with they a just paycheck. A lot us of to us be are employees, st- and that's like gross. They have to train us that way. That is true. Because we can gain the knowledge, but if we don't have it and we don't research for it, then our exactly. industries will still be okay. Yeah, that's true. It's just dumb though. I feel like, I, how come I have to, gra- after I graduate, I learn what a mortgage is? What? Like, I should know that from, like, in school, no? Well, well, I mean, that's a fact. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. But what do they gain? What do they gain? From teaching us. From teaching us? About a dollar, how it works, about real estate, about business. Like, what, do they, what do they gain? Look what happened. Okay, hold on, watch this. Do you remember Borden? Remember Borden? Look at that. That was thriving. They were teaching trades. They were teaching tech. Yo, these guys had cars. They were automobile shops. Yo, everything that's not um, like, this is a trade school, basically. Trade school, tech school, and all that good stuff. And they had everything for, for it. You could, this was nursing and everything, eh? And they tore it. I thought they said they tore it down. Drove past it the other day. I'm like, what the fuck? Literally three days ago, Dumb. it's still standing. Huh. So why are we not? Why is the resources being taken from here? I money is money. These yeah. motherfuckers is teaching motherfuckers how to but make money. But it's so crazy how you put so much value on literally paper, paper. Like this money does it does not mean anything. Like it's just to like, what? It's literally just paper. If there was no money, then everybody would just be doing what they're passionate about. And then there'd be no reason for, like, no poor, no rich, whatever, where, where everyone's just everyone. Mm-hmm. Which is how I feel like it's supposed to be. Because if people stop doing things... That sounds like a communist society. No, if people stop doing things only for money, then they'd be doing what makes them happy. And then that's just, like, the world would go around so much perfectly. Nah, they would... Taxes. Honestly, I think the way that we operate is, like... Because um, well, we're now. still animals like this. We're going to replace it with something. Replace what with something? Money. No, but I'm saying if there was no money. There's going to be something that's always worth something. True. Because we're always going to... Yo, we, we naturally want, want more. Or more, yeah. For we sure. naturally want more. That's why we have money. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. realistically. Even if we... Listen. Like, all this political bullshit. Like, if we tear it down, like, realistically, we're going to corrupt it again. 
We're always going to corrupt everything. But I feel like if there wasn't no money to begin with, then we would have just figured it out a different way. But it's not about money. It could be anything. It could be this. No, but I'm trying to say, like, if it there was no money, we'd just be trading our, trading our goods or whatever. But but then the money's the goods. The money's the goods? Yes. No. The, then, yes. That, the that was slavery. Like That's why slavery was prevalent. With. But we what didn't need to. Like, define the goods with. Who's this with what it's worth, what, this is a cow. This is a goat. This is grass. This is manure. Or this is my service. I'm doing this for you. Yes, you can do yes. this for me. I don't know. I just think Locks, money. Right? I don't think people should be chasing money. They should be chasing their passion, and then money will follow after. We can break that system, though. I know we can't, but like instead of doing things I for money, we do things for what we're happy about. Because that passion will drive us. Like, why do you still keep doing the teacher channel? <laughs> <laughs> why do I? I really don't have an answer for that. No, I you don't, don't at this point. I, I think don't. You, what do you mean? Don't you enjoy it somewhat? I do enjoy it. Exactly. I do enjoy it. But it's also very painful. <laughs> yeah. You just want to hard. Go through pain so you can appreciate the good stuff. You just want to go hard. Yes, it's hard, but you enjoy it. That's why you keep doing it. So you don't care. Well, I mean, I, not that you don't care about I hard definitely stuff. enjoy the shit. Definitely but exactly, but. Since you enjoy it so much, doing the hard stuff is not so much of a burden, I guess. I see you a thousand percent. That's a fact. You know what I That's mean? That's a fact. Because if someone who didn't enjoy being in front of camera, didn't enjoy talking like how we do, it would definitely feel like, oh my gosh, slavery. Nah, I don't like being in front of the camera. Straight up. No, no. As much as I am, I don't. No. You don't like being in front of the camera? Oh, as but much. But you're always in front of the camera. But yo, I'm just a performer. But you're always in front of the camera. It, yo, it is what it is. Bro. I'm good at it. Okay. Oh, good at it. So what do you like about being on YouTube? Yeah, I don't know. The freedom. The freedom to say whatever you want? The freedom. To say whatever you want. I wants. like saying what I want. I love it. Okay. I actually like it. You can contest it, but I said what I said. Yeah. I said what I said. I ain't going to withdraw. I mean, you know what? I could have said it yesterday and I feel differently today because you know what? Watch her. I made a video maybe a month ago. Seen it back and I was like, yeah, that was wrong. That was wrong. Not that it was wrong in that matter, the way you, the way I felt like you responded, but it was just like I don't feel the same way. Like that's wrong. Like you know, like that's that's kind of a dumb question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said what you said on that one. I said what I said. Okay, so okay, so I'll ask this last one here. How does us as black people feel knowing that police brutality is still happening? How do us as black people feel knowing that police brutality okay, is still happening? Okay, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. How do we feel knowing police brutality Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I can't talk for one of us, but how do I feel knowing that police brutality is happening currently? Yeah, currently. <sighs> co co well, co co when I used to submerse, submerge myself with that type of information... It would just make me mad and, like, upset and sad for, like, no reason. Like, I can't, like, yeah, I can do something about it, but what can I really do to make a difference? Like, act, like real talk. Like, actually. Like, what can I do to stop racism? Like, completely. Not racism. No, I think, no, we cannot fight racism. We cannot fight people killing people. Like, these things, can we can't fight them. My thing is, with the racism thing and the cops thing, it's what we do with afterwards. They're not being prosecuted the way that we are. Yeah. Listen, I promise you, if I want to kill somebody, you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. But afterwards, now I'm done do it now. How you deal with me, now that's up to you. You cannot stop it. Mm -hmm. I understand that. People are going to feel how they feel. Always, always my opinion is my opinion. If you could change mindsets. it, if you could change it, that's up to me, not mm -hmm. you. Exactly. You just said the right things. I chose to hear you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get me out here. So, yeah. How I feel about it? Like, I don't know. But when I used to, like, submerge myself into that information and stuff, it would just make me mad and be annoyed. And it's like, I'm being annoyed for no reason. So now I try to, like, cut it out. Like, I don't watch the news. I stay off social media a little bit more. And it's like, yeah, it's happening. And yeah, it's unfortunate. But unfortunately, it's most likely always going to happen. And the best I can do is make my life enjoyable.
for myself and the others around me. So at least instead of sitting there being mad, I'm being positive and spreading it. Yo, I'm agreeing with you a thousand percent because you know what? Around my birthday, I was just like, yo, this is actually a lot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, There was a specific incident the day before my birthday, you know? Um, and it just had to tie in with my brethren, you know? And it was just, ugh. You know, it's like, fuck all this nonsense. You know, I don't even want to, I don't want to see it no more. And I've tried to block it out. And you know what? It kind of helped for a little while, but you know, it's still happening. So like, it's like shit, dog. It's like, fuck, you block it, you block it. It's like pop-ups on your computer. Like, it just keeps happening. Like, shit. You can't really do much to stop it. Pray for them, I guess, but... Spread positivity. And then now we over here, we looking like, we looking like we, 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 we really, we want to look like Chicago worse. We really looking worse because per population, we higher than all of that. So New York and these motherfuckers, New York City got 10 million people alone. Mm -hmm. And we got two point how much? And what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I mean. You, you you want to say something else on it? Something else? Hmm, if, if you want. Like, I mean, I'm just... I realized life is like... Everything has a polar opposite. Like everything has a good and bad, black and white. That's what whatever it is. So, I can't avoid the negative, which is the opposite of what I want to happen. So, the best I can do is live my life. Fulfill my purpose. And, you know, help other people. Cause that's what we're here for. We're all co-creators. Okay, so if 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 this was to go viral and you could speak to somebody, somebody, what would you want them to hear? What would you say? <sighs> somebody. Okay, your emotions are always valid. Your emotions are real. And everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a purpose, even if it's big, small, if it's going to make a huge difference, a small difference. It doesn't matter because everybody's here for a reason and you have something to fulfill. So don't forget to fulfill it. And don't forget, like, life is literally just a dream. So live it to the fullest. Do whatever you want to do. Life is fuck. Yo, life is, yo, listen, I like to think that we really are simulating in this moment. I feel like we're in a simulation. I feel like there's realms and destinations, destinations, realms, not destinations. What's the motherfucking word? Realms? Dimensions. Dimensions. <laughs> yes. I feel like. I feel like there's definitely multiple dim dimensions. Yeah, and I feel, I, honestly, I feel like um um as I grow older, what's the word here? Reincarnation is I feel reincarnation more, is real. It's more real and real every day. And, uh, and I'm starting to understand Dave Chappelle more every day and every day. I keep saying he's not that funny, but every day it's like, shit, I understand more and more, mm -hmm. you know, with age. But fuck, you know, this this was a great fucking conversation. It was a great conversation. It was a great conversation. Thank you. I enjoyed the conversation. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, shout yourself out. Okay, my Instagram, Electra underscore Breezy. Twitter, Electra 2 A's underscore Breezy. What else? I got a YouTube channel, Electra Breezy. And I got my tarot channel. Oh my gosh, Electra Tarot 888, you know. I do my little thing on there. Check the stuff. <laughs> Honestly, it'll all be in the description box down below. Because I got a lot of stuff. No, it's on the screen. It's still going. It's I just flowing. The link tree? Yo, it's just flowing. Yeah. That's the stuff. Yo, listen, I am your host, Daddy Rico. This is one take, and um, this is no gimmicks. This no is no gimmick. gimmicks, no crap, no yo, listen, no cosign, no nothing. This is this is this is organic and all that good stuff. Um, this was great. Um, y'all know what to do like, subscribe, comment, ring off my notification bell, Rrr, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, spread love, give love, call spread your mama, love, tell her you love her. You know what I'm saying? People are dying. Call her. Call Every somebody. Life. Call your brother, somebody. Call your girl. Call somebody. Call my ex, to be honest. And, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not, not the ex, not the ex. <laughs> 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 crazy, <you're> crazy. <laughs> Yo, listen, we out. We out. We out. <laughs> call somebody. Spread love. That's it. That's what we're trying to do. We're going into a new year. We want to be live COVID free. Mm -hmm. All that nonsense. All the all the bullshit. BS. The propaganda. Propaganda. Love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. Peace, 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 peace. <laughs> By Rare Network. Powered by Rare Network. It's powered by Rare Network. <laughs> powered by the Rare Network.
you already know they're powered by Rare Network. Same thing. One love. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Remember, Central Sundays live on Instagram each and every Sunday. Click the left for One Take TV podcast or click the right for family time. See y'all soon.